Welcome to this Absolute Beginner's Blender tutorial number 18. In this tutorial we will talk about the use of different loop cut tools to refine the mesh. We'll press 7 and 5 on the num keypad and delete, OK that, and shift A and add a monkey. And I do R, X, 9, 0 to rotate it. I want more illumination around this object so I'll Press the right mouse button to select the light and then Shift D for duplication. And again, Shift D. Just grab the arrow and move it over. Then I'll right click on the object, press Tab to go into edit mode, smooth. I'll add a subdivision surface modifier that I do not want to have in edit mode. So there. And now I'll press A to deselect everything and control tab to choose edge mode. We're now going to use a tool called loop cut and it's activated by pressing control R. And as you touch the mouse to an edge, it tells you which loop it, it will cut. And as you roll the mouse wheel, it will increase the number of cuts. And I would like to have three cuts here. So I press the left mouse button and the cuts are made. And of course I would like to smoothen this mesh here. And One way of doing that is to press Alt S and I'll press the shift key so I can the mo I have more control over my move mouse movements like this. And uh, since these are all selected together I'll have to just Alt and right mouse click select this one and do the same thing, Alt, S, Shift, and then move the mouse to get that arched look. And the Control A to deselect. Another way of doing this is to use the loop selection tool, uh, be in face mood, and do the loop selection tool, and, and uh, I'll press down the Alt key and the uh, right mouse click and it does the same type of choices as, as the loop cut does. So I'll decide it on this here and the, I only want to subdivide the across edges. I'll have to go into edge mode and press Alt Shift and right mouse click to remove the edges that go around the loop. And because there are other complications to the mesh in the, this inner part, I'll have to manually go around and uh, deselect sections of it, and I want to make sure that I don't get any unintentional selected, excuse me, selected edges left, because then I'll get cuts that will just complicate the mesh. Also, just before we continue, I'll go into user preferences and interface and uh, rotate around selection that helps somewhat with the navigation because your navigation, your ro rotation in 3D space will be relative to what you have selected. So here's that, and then I'll do W, subdivide, and I can here choose the number of cuts, either by arrow or by entry. So I'll do three cuts, that's good. And now to accomplish the same, the, the good thing with this tool is that you can still navigate. The tool is active. You can still navigate and look at what you're getting. So that's that's a good thing. And the, you can also do what I did with the alt test. You can do that in that tool. So I can add one to get a more arched look here and I can use the arrows to increase or decrease only up to one, but over one I can enter a number, so I do two. And I'm good with that, so I'll just press A, then the tool goes away. So these are two different ways of accomplishing basically the same thing. And what I would like to do more is I would like to give uh, 
Suzanne, since this monkey is called Suzanne also, a haircut or some kind of a hairdo like a ridge across here. And if I use the both, you know, loop tools like control R, I get these cuts here. I'll just show this. And I get all these extra cuts that I'm really not interested in. So how can I accomplish this? Because I will control C out of this, and because if I go into face mode like this, then I'll get the same scenario. Well, of course, the cure for this is be in edge mode, A, and then say, okay, well, here's the loop. This is where it went. I, and I feel I can end it right here, because if I get some triangles or something, I can take care of that here. So I'll just do this. I'll go from there and just manually select these rather few edges. Won't take that much time. And I have control exactly over where it's going to be. And then I can use the W tool, W the subdivide tool, and I'm going to use four cuts in this case. And I wanted to get this, you know, arched thing here. So I can just add a really large number like 10, and it makes this, this arch like that. I have the remaining problem is that I have triangles here and they may or may not cause a problem in rendering but just to make sure I'll just convert these to Alt J I'll just right mouse click on them to select them and then Alt J to convert them to quads and uh, now we're rotating around that point because that's the selection which is fine in this case and then I'll right mouse click and shift right mouse click and Alt J So these are three different ways of accomplishing uh, the same kind of thing. In other words, you're refining the mesh. You can, um, so to speak, make it more convex in that selection. And then you'll have to deal with you know, the problems that can happen. You can get you know, this kind of problem or that you're getting too much selection. So that's just a decision you have to make, how you want your mesh to, what you, what you want your topology to look like. And I'm going to go back, to, oh sorry, I'm going to go back to object mode and I'll right click mouse on the camera and then I'll do G and Z, Z. And then I can, with the m m mouse moving closer than G, I can just move the camera like this and render it. And this is, you know, the mesh we got. So this concludes this tutorial. And I hope you had use of it. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.